um, we will uh, deal a little bit with the torque. And uh, we ha actually have to set aside some time talking about something called rotational inertia. And um, in keeping with the analogy that I've been trying to emphasize, what, rotational, what do you think rotational inertia is similar to? Like if you are trying to find the counterpart in translational motion. So, okay, inertia maybe. What is inertia? I don't think I really used that word that much before. I could have, but so, you know, okay, you could say it's similar to inertia. Well, so inertia is actually synonym for a different word that we actually do use a lot. Friction. Not friction. Bec you are thinking of uh, inertia as something that stops something from moving. That's not what inertia is. Inertia is uh, something, like in everyday language, when we talk about inertia of a large organization, uh, large organization, when it gets moving, it actually keeps on moving, unless something happens to stop it. It's related to Newton's second law, or first law, or whatever. So if you are treating inertia as a noun that's uh, referring to an object or a property, it's a synonym for mass. Or you could say one of the properties of mass is inertia. The second property is the one that we haven't talked about yet, gravitational uh, attraction thing. But um, so, you know, so rotational inertia will be similar to mass that we talked about in translational motion. So um, hopefully we'll have some time to talk about this as well. But um, so 